as an adventure hunter, the Australian Outback should definitely be on your go-to list. It certainly was for me, and I couldn't wait to get there to experience a place I had never been before. I love hunting the biggest, the baddest, and the most dangerous animals on the planet. So going to Australia and hunting the Australian water buffalo was definitely something that I knew I had to do. I've been driving for a couple of hours trying to get into this thick bush in here, but uh, Matt says there's a water hole in here he wants to go check out, so he wants to walk in there and see what we can see, so we're going to take a stroll and see if we can't find a buffalo. Just come in here and this really swampy water hole. And once again, there's tracks everywhere. It's obviously they come in here during the day. Probably hot, roll in the mud, get a drink, whatever it is, but sometimes you gotta go where they are. They're just not here today. For me, without a doubt, the greatest highlight of this trip was simply the Australian Outback itself. It was all pretty spectacular. It was definitely a place that was dear to my heart when I was there, and I most definitely can't wait to go back. Getting closer out here to the end of this pencil where this bowl was at. Hopefully he's still out here. I'll just have to see if we can find him. Well, I'm pretty sure he's finished, so I'll walk up and give him a check to make sure, but uh, I believe he's done. He didn't seem to, uh, he didn't seem to take this double rifle too well, but that's why they're an excellent tool for this kind of hunting. Hunting here in Australia's Northern Territory in Arnhem Land for the Australian water buffalo is another great example of what we as global hunters like to consider adventure. It's a rem wild, remote place, back in the bush, off the beaten path, in a land that was discovered and inhabited over 50,000 years ago by the Aboriginal people. But hunters like me come here for the trophy, for the experience, for the wildness that it is, and the camaraderie we get to spend with our fellow hunters. Global hunting is what keeps me alive, and it's what makes adventure possible. A lot of the terrain in the Northern Territories of Australia is very wet, very tropical. You know, a lot of it was just wide open flood plains. You could spot and stalk. You could see the buffalo for long distances. And rarely were they in herds. They were generally in little small groups or individual bulls. It was very much different from what I've experienced hunting Cape Buffalo in Africa. We're getting closer. We're not that far away now, but we're, we're within range, but it'd be nice to get closer. 
just to make sure that he doesn't run way far off into this stuff and make it a lot harder to get him out. So this is cool. It'd be helpful if you were right next. Look, I gotta get the sticks up too. You shouldn't have to do it. He's gonna look at you. I don't think he's just gonna run away. Okay. You know, the 416 Ruger hammered him again. This right here to me was the exact type of adventure I was looking for here in Australia. I got the experience and the adventure that I was looking for and, and to me that's what it's all about, the excitement, the adventure and the experience you get to have when you go to a place like this. So, I'm thrilled. All right, well, I'm pretty sure he's done. He's been laying there a while, but I'm going to go up and double check him. Wow. That is a big buffalo. And getting the opportunity to come out here and hunt what people would consider to be water buffalo habitat was absolutely amazing. It's definitely an experience that I am thrilled that we got to do. But hey, I said I want to come here. I want to hunt them where they like to live and what looks like traditional habitat here in Australia, the Northern Territory, and we banged this big bull, and now I get to go home and have the experience that I'll never forget. For me, the greatest memory, honestly, of the, of the buffalo was simply the fact that I was there getting to do it. And it's important for me to always try to remind myself that I am very fortunate and I should never take it for granted.